Okay, so is there a, a time frame that women should uh, wait in order before they end up uh, getting physically intimate with a guy? What, what, uh, you know, how can a woman kind of protect herself? Sure, and that's a, that's a great question. And I always say there, you know, the time frame as far as five dates, five weeks, two months, six months. That's really an individual decision that each woman has to make. But always when I work with my clients, what I teach them is that, you know, because when you create your list, it's like, okay, what are the things that I need? Is this guy consistently showing up and giving me all those other important things? And once you see that he's giving you those other things and that he's showing you consistently by his actions that it's a priority to be with you, then give up the goods. Because part of the challenge is you give up the goods in the beginning and the oxytocin and the estrogens and all the hormones kick in, you tend to miss the other red flags. And you tend to ignore them because you don't want to see them. You don't want to accept the fact that he's a good guy but not the right guy. And so it's you've got to really go in with some trepidation as far as saying, you know, I'm going to go there, but i got to make sure that's the last place I go. And kind of save that, you know, for a guy who's really earned that right. You know, one of the biggest things I see with women all the time is they give that privilege to a guy, and then the guy takes advantage of it, and then they get pissed off. It's like, well, you know, you got to kind of make him earn it, not to play games because I'm not an advocate for that at all, but just showing up and saying, look, I'm looking for a relationship, and I'm looking for a guy that wants me for something else other than what's in my pants. And so a guy who's looking for that will show you consistently. It's, he looks at it as an investment that he doesn't mind investing a little time, ultimately if he knows it's going to pay dividends down the road, and he's kind of clear on what that is. So when I work with women, I try to say, you know, look, let a guy know up front, look, if you're looking to get laid, it's not going to happen tomorrow. You know, it's not going to take three years, but I've got to be comfortable. I've got to be confident that we're on the same page and we want the same things out of life. And once I get to that point, then we'll go there. And I promise you that it'll be, it'll be worth the wait. And most guys who are looking for a relationship don't have a problem with that. You know, those are the men. The ones who, hey, you know, come on, I've got needs. It's all about me. And, you know, that's just a part of the relay. Those are the guys you got to be wary of.